It may be raining outside, but my heart is sunny and full of joy. Hey, Internet, it's Colorful Arnie, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. Praise God on this incredible day. So, if my voice sounds a little bit different, it is because, A, I am recording with my Logitech headset now instead of my Blue Yeti microphone, and B, I am recording in a room that has a lot more echo than what I'm used to. So, hopefully that won't be a big of uh, any big problems there. We're continuing the fall. Hey, dog. I'm sorry. That's my horse whistle. Hey, puppy. Who's a good puppy? Please don't pee on my ground. How about this? Isn't it great? I've just finished. Take a look. Oh, yes! Our greenhouse is done. So, welcome to the greenhouse. We literally have a whole new field. Not as big as our regular one, but still very large. We've got a place to fill up our watering can there, we got a shipping crate there, and time does not pass while we are inside it. Woohoo! So, we can get started on that later. Not gonna start that just yet. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. I gotta get my gifts for my bachelorettes. I finally said it right on the first try! Yeah! Oh, hi, Artie. Karen is sick in bed. Why don't you go pay her a visit? Uh, okay. Good. Come in. I'm sure she'll be happy. I totally forgot about this. Hey, Karen. Oh, this is so embarrassing, Artie. You didn't have to come visit me. I mean, I haven't even washed my face. If, if I'm being honest, I couldn't have tell the difference. Kind of an empty room, isn't it? I don't like setting things out all over the place. Hey, you and me both, Karen. I When I compare my college dorm room to, like, everybody else's, I have, like, no stuff in there. Or maybe everyone else is just a slob. I don't know. Yes, that is a chest. Don't open it. Gosh, you're so restless. Calm down. A small bottle filled with shells. Is this some kind of charm? What are you looking at? Man, I thought we were tight, Karen. You're still being rude. Is your farm okay? Shouldn't you go back to work? Well, maybe I will. Thank you. I feel a little better now. I actually came here to give Karen's mom her tomato. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. <laughs> Gots is like... I saw you give my wife a tomato. What's that about? Well, since it's raining, we might as well go visit the girls. So we've already visited Ellie. So we need to visit Maria. Because if the... Oh, so help me. If the mayor has locked his freaking house again. That... That mayor, he really, really, really does not want me to visit Maria. Mayor, it's happening, okay? I'm marrying her. Deal with it. Bah humbug. Oh, well, since the carpenters are finished with their... Uh, the greenhouse, I can get a few new recipes. Hey, Cliff. The hair on the back of my head is blonde. Must be my grandma's jeans. Well, now we're getting somewhere. I think we give this guy a mushroom? Oh, thank you! That was the wrong. Well, I know this gives us a recipe. Oh, thank you! Mushrooms are the best in fall! I'll teach you how to cook mushroom rice! We get the mushroom rice recipe. That river is a good place for fishing. Okay. Cool. Hey, Tails. Foxes are adorable, even if they're a bit troublemaking in real life. I can't help but love them. Have you guys seen the video of the foxes discovering trampolines are bouncy? It's amazing. Oh, thank you! Let me teach you a fish and mushroom dish with the taste of fall. Men should be able to cook. Heck yeah, brother! Men- I- I agree. I think everybody needs to learn how to cook at least a few things. Learn to cook what you like, just so you don't have to eat out every day. That really helps with the money. Got the mushroom stuffed char recipe. 
Sweet. Uh, no, never mind. See you later. Okay, Cliff. One of these days, I will visit Maria when she's sick. Well, after a hard day of loafing around and picking mushrooms, it's time to get a good night's sleep. Wouldn't you say? All right. Time for me to sell my stuff and go taste some milk. If you don't have a fully grown cow, you can't enter the cow festival. It's kind of weird, you know? I want to enter the cow festival with my prize chicken. You also need to have a full grown cow giving milk because the whole festival is basically tasting the cow's milk and also being like, this cow has a pretty face. I'll get into the mechanics of how to win the cow festival in year two. When we will win the cow festival. Don't start without me! Hi, Artie! So you came! The milk here is fresh from the morning. You be a taste judge. Hmm, the milk is all fresh and great tasting. Tough decision. Hello, I'm the gourmet judge. Oh, Trabian. Nice smell, sweet. Mmm, this one's the best. Ugh, that guy's repulsive. Ooh, that's good! This milk's the best. I thought people would want to raise cows if we had this festival. But the whole point, the, the whole reason the mayor got this festival, he's like, I really like cows, but nobody has cows. If we make a cow festival, people will have to have cows. <laughs> Can't fault that logic. I'm checking the milk. Let's see now. How's the case in it? I'm checking the coat. You can tell if they're brushed with love. I brush it automatically by pushing the B button. That's the best way to do it. Hello, we're judging the cows now. Yes, I can see that. Hmm, all these cows are good. They're calm and quiet like humans, and they have gentle faces. Ah, uh, they only say one thing. Hmm, they're all nice cows. I'm very picky about the milk I put in tea. Uh, him and his tea. Not bad. Oh man, that cow's gonna win if he says not bad. Oh, hi there. I don't know much about the taste of milk because I don't drink it so much. He prefers oatberry wine. I'm not a milk drinker. I'll just choose a cute looking cow. And that's what I would do, to be fair, Karen. So, you and I can bond over that. Gee, I hope I can enter a cow soon for everyone to look at. I, uh, well, save up. 6,000 G and you can. Wow, that tastes delicious. Cows raised lovingly have gentle faces. That is not how that works. And <laughs> cows' faces are determined genetically from birth unless something really horrible happens to them in their life. You, you raising your cow lovingly will not automatically change its face to a cute one from an ugly one. That is not how it works. Anyways, let's guzzle some milk down. Oh, that's delicious. Mm, oh, M is for... Meh. But this M is for mad good. Oh, yes. I'm gonna drink up a storm. This is all for me, right? Glug, 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 glug. Jack, you really should cut yourself off from the milk. Yeah, basically, how you win the cow festival is determined entirely by your cow's affection towards you and how much milk you have shipped. Not just from that one cow, but from all your cows. Now we'll announce the results! Do not tell me the potion shop dealer won. The winner is the cow from Green Ranch! It has a name, you know. Congratulations! Home field advantage, I guess. Get it? <laughs> Second place goes to the cow from the Tree Bud Village farm. It was really close. Where, where, the, where the heck is Tree Bud Village? I want to visit Tree Bud Village. Third place goes to the cow from the Flower Blossom farm. Everyone put your hands together. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Today was a good day and I'm going to have a good sleep. Oh, rainy day. Oh, rainy day. Rainy days are no fun for anyone. Hey! I've come to say goodbye. I'm heading south. See you again next spring. Take care. Okay. okay. Thanks for stopping to say goodbye. I do appreciate that. And would you know it? Our eggplants are about to be fully grown.
Morning, chickens! Okay, that, that chicken, I guess, gets double feed today. Here's the thing. Car Karen's photo event happens on Falls the 7th. That's two days from now. The thing is, if it's raining that day, she will not show up. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to throw the egg that I picked up into the goddess pond and wish for weather. That will make sure that the 7th will be sunny. Because remember, wishing for weather will make the day after tomorrow uh, sunny. Not the next day. Oh! Oh! Oh, special scene between Maria and Anne, and it's raining, and very far away. I didn't think this could actually happen in the rain. Maria, what are you doing? Well, it seemed he'd have problems if he couldn't sell this, so... You got pressured again, huh? I keep telling you to just say no! I'm sorry. What are we gonna do with all of this? Oh, wow. That is a rare Ann Sprite. That is a very rare Ann Sprite. Very expressive, though. <laughs> it's so far away. That, that makes it a bit awkward. I didn't think these could happen when it was raining out, actually. Hey, what's up? Don't you want a watermelon? 300 GH! Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll help the girls out. Jack, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to cut it open and not eat the rind, or the seed, like, black seeds. Thank you! Here, Maria, 600G. What? This part is for me. I'll have it for dessert tonight. See ya! Aw, Anne's a very good friend. Alright. The real question is, is Maria sick? Wait, what the- what the heck?! It's a rainy day, Maria should be sick. That's the daughter's room. Don't go in. Oh, this is so much baloney! Why can't I visit my beloved when she's sick? I know she's sick. I know she's in there. I know I just saw her walk in the library, but I know she's in there. If you don't know something, just ask someone in the village. Why can't I see your daughter? Hey, he told me to. Hello, Papari! I'm so happy, thank you! Greenhouse is full of plants gathered by Papa, but they're not for sale, it's a problem. And would you look at that! All of the plants from the previous seasons are available for us to buy and grow in our greenhouse. Now, here's the thing. Normally, when I get the greenhouse, I immediately plant corn, tomatoes, cabbage, like all of it. But here's the thing, in first winter, an earthquake is going to happen, and if you have stuff planted in your greenhouse, it will destroy some of them. I do not want that earthquake to destroy any of my permanent crops, so I'm actually not going to grow any of the uh, corn or tomatoes or eggplants in my greenhouse until after the earthquake happens. So in the meantime, I'm just going to plant a freaking ton of cabbage. Those are cabbage seeds. They take longer, but you can sell them for more money. One pack costs 200 G. How many of these can I buy? Yeah, I'm buying them all. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, because I will be able to grow all of these before the horse race. I sell them all. ka -chin. Kachin. Continuing on with our epic quest to grow a farm. Whoa, another scene? Oh yeah, this is the first Kai event. Miss Karen, please make up with your father. Really. Besides my leaving, father doesn't care about anything. He should be doing something to bring back this vineyard, right? Miss Karen. Men should try their hardest at their work. Yes, that's easy to say, but... Yeah, that's the first event that happens between Karen and Kai. If Kai's affection's at a certain level. I didn't think I was that great of a friend to Kai, but I guess I was wrong. What's up, dude? Why do you flatter me? What do you expect from me? I expect you to not be mad if I give your wife a tomato. Hello, how are you? What'll it be today? Well, Goddess, here's the thing. 
there's a girl that I don't really like, but I'm manipulated into liking me by showing her my dog like a thousand times. And she's going to come to my farm pretty soon and uh, ask to dance with me, and we'll get a picture event for it. It's going to be awesome, and I really want it to be sunny. So can you make it sunny? Okay, I hear your wish. Keep on working hard. Well, thank you, my lady. Hi-ho! Hey, Poppery. Hi, I brought tea and cookies today. I got them at Ellie's shop. Oh, cookies! Uh, Jack, you didn't take them out of the wrapper. That looks like Uncle Owen's moisture. Well, see you later! Well, thank you, Poppery. That was very kind of you. So let me show you the wonders of the greenhouse. First off, not the load times aren't as bad in the greenhouse as they are on your main farm, so it's quicker to harvest stuff. And because we've got the golden water in can, we can plant all of our crops like this. And this is where rainy days are kind of annoying now, because they make it easier for you to get sick, and they don't water any of your greenhouse crops. And now... Oh look! The goddess made sure it would be sunny tomorrow! That is wonderful. Hey Anne, here's some corn. Wow, great, thank you! My brother is actually very kind. Our mother died early. Our father was busy, so my brother took care of me. Oh, that's nice. And she's at a yellow heart now. Take it easy. Hey, Karen's mom, here you go. Oh, thank you. He thinks that if the vineyard picks up, Karen will leave. He's helpless. I don't know what to do. Oh, wow. She's actually much more comfortable with... ...confiding in us. The tomatoes are magical! It's autumn and harvest time! It'll be busy! Hey, Karen. Hey, why don't you dance with me next time? It'll teach you. I'll teach you. I already know how to do the chicken dance, Karen, so guess what? I don't need your help. Do I look, like, worried? Do I look like worried, or do I look, like, worried? There's no problem. Okay, if you say so. Hey, Jeff. Oh, thank you. What do you think about Ellie? You already asked me this! I'm not gonna marry her. Is that so? But Ellie likes you. What should I do? I don't know, Luigi. Figure it out. I forgot you are name. Oh yes, you're on that farm. Oh, is that so? Alright, let's see. Cow festival's on the 4th, harvest festival's on the 20th, 12th, uh, egg festival's on the 20th, and the local horse race is on the 28th. Oh! I forgot the horse race isn't until literally the end of fall. We got tons of time to get up our money supply. Yeah, you'll notice my dog is in the house, but he his food is still getting eaten from every night. So either he can let himself out of the house and always lets himself back in by the time I wake up, or something else is eating the dog's food. You decide! Write your theories on where my dog's food goes in the comments section. I would love to hear your ideas. That's good. Oh boy, here we go. Artie, Artie, wake up. This is a message from the spirit of the grapes. The Kif it's supposed to be Kifu fairies have come. You'll be able to harvest wonderful grapes. Good work. It's a little creepy that the goddess chose to come right then and while I was sleeping. But, you know, okay, uh, I guess I'm cool with that. Alright. Tomorrow will be rainy. This is, 
if I feel like it rains in fall a lot more than in other seasons, which is why it's very important to wish at the Goddess Pond for good weather in preparation for these photo event dates. Alright, so... Today's the 7th, the day of Karen's photo event. Ellie's photo event is on the 9th. And again, if it's rainy, she's not going to show up. So we better wish for the goddess for weather today, two days in advance. Hello, mother of Karen. Have a tomato. Thank you. In return, I'll teach you a tomato dish. Karen likes it. We get the tomato rice recipe. Took them all enough, and it was our last tomato, too. Yes, that could not have come at a better time. Oh, hello. I'm busy preparing for tomorrow. For tomorrow? What's so special about tomorrow? Ooh, but I forgot this appears! Once you get a girl to a pink heart and you have a kitchen, Rick will sell you this. Oh, I think you also have to be good friends with Rick. Like, I think the same amount of affection he has to be up in order for him to fix the music boxes before this appears? I don't know. But whatever. Hmm, if you want that, it means you've got plans, eh? The price is 1,000G, but I'll knock it off a bit and sell it to you for 980G. Gee, how... how gracious of you. So this is the Blue Fever. For those of you not in the know, basically the Blue Fever is the Harvest Moon equivalent of an engagement ring. So give it to a girl, and if she's at a high enough affection for you, she'll accept, and you guys will get married. Nah, I'm not gonna buy it yet. A rainy day is a good day for thinking. But then I easily forget to open my shop. Is that why you're always closed on rainy days? Just because you're busy thinking? So you uh, don't open shop? Not good. Hello, how are you? What'll it be today? I got another date in two days, and I need it to be sunny or it's not gonna happen. Okay, I hear your wish. She was like, that's weird. I thought he was going to marry Maria. Why is he dating other girls? Jack's a bit of a playa. That's playa ending in an A. Hmm, autumn with the sky clear and blue and horses growing stout. What's the meaning of that old saying? Uh, beats me, that's the first I've heard of it. Take it easy, but at least she's saying different stuff now. Zach, get out of here! There's gonna be a hot girl coming soon. Hi there. Yep, this is the Karen photo event. Hey, Karen. Hey, hey, come on! Come to our vineyard! It's incredible! Uh, what? What's going on? You'll understand when you get there. Come on! I like it when Karen has her mouth open like that. She looks very, very beautiful when she does like that. Ooh, shooting stars. Beautiful. See? Isn't it amazing? The fairies are kissing the grapes! Those are fairies? Those look like shooting stars to me. Smell that? The grapes have turned incredibly sweet! I always thought it was an old fairy tale. I didn't believe it. I think I finally understand why Grandma's wine was so good. Ooh! I like that little twirl she did. Today was a good day. I'm going to have a good sleep. Hey, look at the little birds! A bird's nest in the tree. They're so cute! I hope they grow up fast so they can fly. The happy girl. Oh, kya! She got too excited and fell. Then? Then? That's Anne's dream! Man, what happened in that day? I can't stop now. I gotta keep going. Dog, stop peeing in my living room. That is not okay at all. Yeah! Gonna be sunny for tomorrow's date with Ellie. That'll be wunderbar. Alright, get the brush out. Gotta get my corn. And herp a derp a skirt. Hello, I took so many pictures during the trip. Here's a memento from the watering cameraman. Dude, that's creepy. That was creepy when you did it to me and Maria, and it's creepy now. Stop following me on my private dates of girls. But again, he gave us a free photo, so I guess I'm okay with it. So that's Maria's. And Dance of the Kifu Fairy. And I keep... They do not have a consistent spelling of Kifu. But that's, that's, that's a nice one. I like it.
No, dog, you can't go outside. I need to keep my eye on you. I don't need to lose track of you like I do my horse. Oh, and it's eggplant season. So these are like the ugliest looking vegetables in the game. And eggplant are not very good to eat. I'm just going to say that right now. From the, li from the eggplant that I have eaten in my life, and I have eaten eggplant pretty recently, it was not good. You must never leave animals in the rain! Be careful! Oh, okay, I, I won't. My cow is inside. Take it easy. Your horse doesn't count. Your horse physically can't go in any building. Alright, if we go to the bakery, I think we can see the Ellie Ann scene now. Nope. Never mind. We cannot. Well, Jeff, I have an egg for you anyways. Oh, thank you. You can take the smell out of a fish grill or frying pan by wiping it with old tea. My grandma taught me that. Can you tell me something that's not about tea? Later, Poppery. Didn't get anything for you. Hey, the midwife. Here's an eggplant. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. Let me teach you a good eggplant recipe. Eggplants taste so good in the fall. Okay, note how she said a good eggplant recipe. The eggplant recipe is the eggplant with miso paste. Ew. Why would you want that? Ooh, we've got a great turnout at the bar today. Except Karen's dad. He didn't show up. Here, Kai. Thank you very much. I know a liquor you can make from berries. It's easy to make at home. Give it a try. And we'll get the very berry wine recipe. Okay. A, I thought I already got this recipe. B, I thought you could only get this recipe if you gave him a very berry fruit. But hey, cool. I will take it. I understand their daughter's feelings. There are many things in the city you don't find here. I felt those mornings. This is the best way to relax after a hard day. Is it, though? Is it really? Whew, it's hard working on such a day. Uh, here? Thank you. Hey, Karen. It's not good for the grapes, either. I hope it stops soon. We just had fairies kiss the grapes. I'm sure they're fine. It's a strange place. People don't ask me a lot, but they're not cold and aloof, either. The sound of rain fits the bar, don't you think? Amen, Regis. Amen. Alright, a lot's gonna happen today. It's the ninth day of fall. It's Ellie's picture day and Anne's dream day. Oh, Ellie's here. I want to, There is a scene you can get between Ellie and Anne that happens in the bakery. Maybe it only work... Oh, I bet it's only on Sunday when Ellie's normally not around. Yeah, I think that's it. Hey, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, hey, Kai. Next, we have to mash the grapes. Ferment them, put them in a barrels. Still lots of work to do. Oh, hey, everybody's out helping. It's a family activity. Why do you flatter me? What do you expect from me? I forgot you are named. Oh yes, you're on our farm. Oh, is that so? Grandma's wine is highly regarded. Why is our wine so different even though we're using the same grip? You told me when you at our photo event that you you finally figured that out. Sorry, I'm busy now. Well, she seems happier at least, so I am very glad for that. So yeah, so when we go in this screen, because it's Anne's dream that we had two days ago, and now it's finally sunny. Hmm. What's she up to, I wonder? What's up, Anne? A baby chick was on the ground. It looked weak, so I thought I would warm it up. There's a baby bird in her bosom. Don't look! This tree has always had birds' nests. Hey! Have you ever fallen from a tree while looking at baby birds? So, once again, we can have two different options. So if we say, don't think so... Oh, sorry. Well, when I was little, I fell off a tree with a boy. I don't even remember his face. Goodbye. <laughs> she got stuck on the grapes a little bit. Whereas on the other hand, if we say, think so... I knew it! That was you who fell off the tree with me. I still have a scar from that fall right here on my forehead. Hey, that's a little too close. Goodbye. 
and has her personal space, and I greatly respect that. I myself do not really like being touched by people, like, at all. Like, I kind of just, like, it's a natural reaction for me to, like, jerk away when people do that. So, I, I definitely understand and respect Anne's uh, modesty. Alright, so from now on, I'm gonna save... Two mushrooms, one for Kai, one for Jeff in the morning, so I can actually sell my egg. Beautiful. Everything has been tilled in our greenhouse, and we have an epic journey ahead of us. But... We better get ready, because Ellie's gonna be here any second. And we do not want to keep the lovely Ellie waiting. Actually, since I'm still up, I might as well start cutting some grass. Zack, get out of here! Oh, J Jack's crying. Okay, that's not good. Hello. Never fear, I'm here. Artie, if you have the time, why don't we go to the Goddess Fountain? It should be a wonderful sight. Heck yeah. Okay, great, let's go. Tonight's full moon is special. You take a little water from the fountain, reflect the moon in it, and then two people stir it up slowly with a spoon together. This is one of the cutest scenes in the game. If the water changes color to gold, it's proof that it has becomes... It has becomes... Ah! ah. That too may you always have to ruin the great scenes in this with misspells. Moondrop essence. Okay, your hand? Oh, look at that! We are alchemists! Shh! I'm making a wish. That's another rare Ellie sprite. Very rare. But she looks so cute like that. We made liquid gold. Or liquid butter. You decide. What my grandma told me was right. To work a miracle, you must do it with the person that really... Thank you, Artie. Mm. It's so precious! Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today, because holy cow, I think I've been recording for an hour and a half now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Farty. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Tune in next time. We will be continuing fall, probably do a few more festivals, and also, because it's the full moon now, there will be an extra special thing we can do. But you'll just have to tune in next time to see what it is. Until then, have a great day, and God bless.